This clip went viral on TikTok and X, causing controversy and outrage. There's a lot to unpack here. Now watch me struggle to stay within community guidelines while doing so. <laughs> First of all, dude, why are you lying back in a hospital bed like you're the one who just gave birth? They always do that, don't they? The baby's real mother just went through nine months of arduous turmoil. Sickness, pain, sleepless nights. What's he done? Rented a womb? Who is she? They belong. Dad number two didn't miss out either. Yes. I'm going to be a father in two months. You think I'm going to be posting pics of myself looking all exhausted in a gurney on the maternity ward? Cradling my newborn like I was the one who just went through childbirth? No! Why are you taking credit for social media clout? Hey, is the day I'm going to be a Am daddy. I recording? Diane, did you push the red button? Yes. Is it going on the top? Oh, I can't trust her! It really was essential to wear giant, shiny nail extensions during the whole process, too. Look at my hands compared to his whole body. And full cake face makeup. Your boy he has posted this all over TikTok with well over 100,000 followers. Millions of people have watched these clips. They've done numerous media interviews about it. But apparently, you're not allowed to pass comment on it. I cannot begin to express how disturbing it is that people feel the need to express their opinions of my life and my family when it has nothing to do with them and their life and their family. They make it as public as possible, then expect their privacy to be respected. Doesn't work like that, mate. Another clip shows him being pushed around in the actual mother's hospital wheelchair. Again, you literally did nothing. You bought a baby. Turns out Nathan and Joseph Hughes, the new proud parents. I have always known that I want children. Got their friend to donate her eggs for the oh so wholesome cause. I've known the guys for about 12 years uh, and I am the egg donor. Then Joseph got his own sister to serve as the surrogate to carry and birth the babies. My sister Brianna is carrying both our twins. This is what she said about it. I'm literally just housing them for nine months. Oh yes, the sacred bond between mother and child. The profound, unbreakable, some say divine nurturing instinct. Boiled down to the word housing. I'm literally just housing them for nine months. Good work, Evan. Now let's compare that poor baby's reaction <sighs> to the natural reaction of a baby that meets its actual mother for the first time. <laughs> different, wasn't it? We live in truly bizarre and confusing times. And it benefits Big Pharma to keep kids confused about their gender, because they make vast profits from the drugs used to treat it. One reason they're trying to feminise men is because weak men are easier to control. Plastics and oestrogen hormones in our food and water supply are all contributing to a lowering of male testosterone. Did you know that testosterone levels are about 50% lower than they were in men in 1960? Men over the age of 50 now have 176 7% less testosterone. It shows not only a reduction, but a continuing decline. We're all under attack, but there's a way to protect ourselves. Black Forest has a new product out that combines turkesterone with Tonka Ali. Scientific studies show that these supplements can increase testosterone, aiding muscle growth, stress reduction, and even boosting libido. Testosterone is vital to staying healthy and strong, which makes its collapse over the last few decades all the more alarming. So if you want to get your health back, get your strength back, maybe even boost your libido, Try Turkesterone with Tonka Ali by visiting blackforestsupplements.com slash Paul. And for the next 48 hours, members of my community who buy two bottles will get one free. you got to admire what Black Forest Supplements stands for. This company is committed to fighting Big Pharma and giving men their strength back. So if you're ready to take charge of your health and vitality, I highly recommend checking out Black Forest Supplements. Don't let anyone tell you that being strong and confident is a bad thing. And remember, by supporting my sponsors, you support me directly. 
directly. So hurry and take advantage of that amazing 48 hour promo and support me as well as this amazing brand. Link in the description box down below. For every video of a baby I see being cruelly ripped from its mother, I feel like I need to show you 10 of these just to cleanse the timeline. <laughs> The real reason they perform this immediate post-birth skin-to-skin -skin contact, though, is even more disturbing than just doing it for social media clout. They're literally trying to trick the baby into thinking that this dude gave birth to it. Skin-on-skin -skin bonding creates connections between the baby's brain cells, and since from about week 31 the baby can recognise its own mother's voice in the womb, research suggests newborns can recognise their mothers almost immediately after birth. Yeah, I don't think that happened here, do you? The process is also normally used to stimulate the mother's milk supply and initiate the first crucial breastfeed. Nathan and Joseph have an army of supporters on TikTok, the vast majority of whom gushed enthusiastically in response to their news. But it was by no means a total consensus. OMG, so sad for those babies. More mental issues ahead. Live your life. Don't bring innocent kids into it. You're mocking God. What you're doing is wrong to the core. God forgive you. Poor baby gonna live in hell one day. This will be illegal again. This is sick. The whole situation is an abomination. So f***ed up. And the clip didn't go down too well on X. Some accused them of cosplaying childbirth. Others described such surrogate births as legalized human trafficking. But perhaps the most outrage over this was expressed by the person who first posted the clip on X, Libs of TikTok. She called it child abuse. But then people pointed out that her reaction to Dave Rubin doing the same thing was somewhat different. Awkward. But then again, numerous other prominent conservatives praised Rubin at the time too. Children growing up without a mother or a father have double the likelihood of mental illness. Kids from single parent homes are more likely to struggle academically, become delinquent and commit crime. And they're more likely to struggle with emotional and behavioural problems in general. So how is this any different? A child needs a mother and a father. Having two mums or two dads can never act as a replacement. It started with gay marriage and now we've arrived at this. <coughs> you can't stop progress. I'm a bitch, I'm a boss. If you value what I do and you want to help support me, please visit pauljosephwatson.locals.com and either pledge a one-time donation or subscribe to join my community, get early access videos and message me directly. And exclusive live streams coming soon too. Promise. Check out the Locals link down in the description. And don't forget to take a look at the brand new website, modernity.news. That's where you'll find all my content, including exclusive articles. That's modernity.news.